Well, folks, what we have today is the boogie board, and uh, it's in partial uh, broken down state here because as I was pulling the parts off, I realized, hey, I ought to make this a video since all the videos on YouTube about the boogie board battery replacement for the older models are, well, quite frankly, pretty bad. So I thought I'd do one in 4K so you could see it a little bit more clearly. Um, the problem with the original boogie board is uh, uh, eventually you'll, you'll push the button and it, it won't clear off the screen anymore because the battery's dead. Brilliant, right? <laughs> Just brilliant. Uh, maybe great for business, you know, the battery dies, you sell a new one, right? But uh, there are some of us who are real penny pinchers, and if you're watching this, you're probably pinching your pennies right now. So, we're going to get started here. Uh, you know, when I reassemble everything, you'll see how it goes back, and and we can talk more about that later. But basically, uh, to start, you're going to remove the plate. And to remove the plate, uh, it's just got a sticker on top. And you take a little uh, razor blade, a box cutter knife, to pry it up very carefully, and then you can pull it up with your fingers. And it should go back on without looking too bad. Uh, and then after that, there's four little tiny screws that you unscrew and that gets you access to the battery now there's another youtube youtuber out there who who suggests just use a normal uh, replacement battery uh, and use that battery without the solder tabs on it and he pries it off and slips in a new battery but the problem is he doesn't solder it on because you can't and i don't think that's a very smart idea so what i did is on amazon since i live in japan I ordered up a replacement, and this company in Japanese, they they sent me a, uh, a replacement for a fairly cheap price, even with the shipping I had to pay for it. It was just a, like about $3 equivalent. Anyway, the, um, the battery that they sent is this, and if you compare, you will see that they're not quite the same. Uh, this little rough textured part is the same as this rough textured part and on the reverse side uh, is the plus so the minus side is supposed to go up and as you can see the difference is is that the plus side solder tab needs to go out straight and I can straighten that one with a pair of needle no nose pliers but the problem is the minus side on this replacement battery is too short so what I'm going to need to do is cut off not all I, I thought I was going to just desolder both sides pull it out and do a drop-in replacement but because the minus solder tab is too short I'm going to not desolder the minus side I'm going to cut that off and then desolder the plus side since I can stretch this out to be long enough so I'll get you a pair of needle nose pliers and um, we'll Try to straighten him out here. Okay, and so we can see that the plus side tab will extend far enough so that we can solder him on. And so now um, it's a matter of me removing this particular battery. And what I have is a desoldering station here um, set to 350 degrees C. And this will allow me to desolder quite effectively the old battery. I've got my copper little uh, wick, soldering wick here to remove the. Um, old solder and we need to apply some fairly good heat on there to get him off and then we can see if we can pull it off so what I might want to do is apply some fresh solder I can heat up the whole thing and take him off. 
and put him on and take him off and blow it so it's good and dried and now it won't stick okay so that is desoldered and again we want to make sure that we don't desolder the other end, but we leave enough of him so we can solder this ground tab to the remaining part of that. And there we go. Now this is, again, this is the new battery here. You want to solder him on. And I can see that we will be able to do that. We bend this guy down a little bit. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll tin him with a little bit of solder. So we've got solder underneath. You saw some of the solder balls that came off when I did that, so I'll brush them off. Okay. So now we'll put on the tape. And this is several years old, so the tape, when you take it off, um, it may not quite stick like this edge here. And so you'll need to decide if that's worth putting new tape on the bottom. But if you do, it would have to be awfully thin tape, not your normal double-sided tape. It'd have to be very thin. 
Otherwise, the uh, sticker would stick up. So there we have our boogie board. I don't have my pen handy, but uh, we can write with something soft. We'll just write boogie board battery replaced. And to prove it, we need only push the erase button. And there it is. Now that doesn't restore it to brand new condition. You can see that um, there's, this, there's this little, you know, the signs of age here. The top film that goes over the screen pulled up a little bit. And it's not easy to fix that. But rather than throwing it away, it still can be used. And this tape is coming up a little bit, so I can decide how best to fix that. But this video is primarily, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you that it's not impossible to swap out the old battery for a new one. And it says it is a CR2025. Uh, okay, 3 volt lithium battery. So in your market, whether Amazon sells it or another seller sells it, you want to get the solder tabs because that will, even if they're short, uh, make your life a lot easier. Thanks for watching.